I will tell you, my daughter has not left her room. She's such a pious child. And here comes a, a, a proposal and she says, no. And the father says, well, she's a very pious child. She doesn't leave her room. She does not go out of this house. Today, you can commit sin under your blankets in the darkness when there's no even electricity. Believe me, because your mobile phone is still working. Sin is committed. How? Person gets involved. It starts off in different ways. And then you've got a problem at home. And this is why we say strengthen your relationships with your children, with your family members. So when they have a problem, they can talk to you and you help them out of it. Don't scold at your child and shout them and abuse them just because they've done something wrong. No, help them. Because if you abuse them, they will seek comfort over the phone with someone anonymous who is going to be a predator, who is going to actually harm them more than anything else. But they don't know any better. But at that moment of you know, low, for example, uh, when, you, when you're feeling low or you have this low self-esteem, low morale, so to speak, and someone comes and tells you, wow, you're gorgeous. Trust me, they don't believe you're gorgeous. Well, a day will come when they say, I never thought you were gorgeous. I just told it to you to trap you. Allahu Akbar. May Allah not make us from amongst those who fall for this. So a person can commit a sin from their phone and you won't know they've allowed themselves to be released to an anonymous person. And this is happening in our homes. May Allah protect us and our offspring. And then you find the, if they have the courage to confess to you that, okay, I'm in love with this person. And sometimes you hear something weird. Who is this person? Hey, Dracula from somewhere. Allahu Akbar. Where is this person from? You know the tricks of James Bond? He cannot do them in real life. Did you ever know that? Allahu Akbar. This is just an act. It's just a movie. They're busy telling you things that are not real. They're making you feel nice. So you're feeling big. And what happens? Sometimes, or you know what? When parents are strict, then the people come to us and say, Ah, oh, my father's disagreeing. No reason. This man reads his salah. This man is a good Muslim. This man has this. This man, you know, he served the deen. And he's such a good man. My father's just rejecting for no reason. How do you know he reads his salah? He just told you. Have you lived with him? Did you see him getting up for fajr? Have you seen things? Allahu Akbar. You know, that having been said, I need to address this issue very importantly. My beloved fathers who are seated here, do not be unreasonable when it comes to the marriage of your daughters. Don't. The worst thing that is going on today is when a daughter is married off and five years later, ten years later, she tells her husband, I never ever wanted to marry you. The guy I wanted to marry, my father did not want me to marry. So I ended up fixed with you. Trust me, you, my beloved father, share part of the blame. Don't be unreasonable. Sometimes you've got to allow your kids to make a little mistake. Something you think that is not ideal. Talk to them, convince them. I'm not saying don't try to present your opinion. Present it, try and convince them, give them the time, give them a chance. And if they are still adamant and so on, after explaining to them, Sometimes it might be, not all the time, but sometimes it might be worth your while allowing them to go into something that you consider not ideal. Who knows it might work. It might be something better than you thought. And if it doesn't work, they're still your daughter. They're still your child. They will come back to you and love you and embrace you. And you don't have to rub the salt in to say, I told you. I, oh, I told you. Because that's what parents like to do. Parents love to do this. I told you business. And nowadays, elder brothers and others also like to do the same thing. I told you. I told you. Anything happens, I told you. So this is why there was a young boy who came to his mom. And he says, mom, you're going to tell me I told you. Mom says, what happened? Well, I'm not telling you. <laughs> so thereafter, like I was saying, the worst thing is for someone to come up years later and tell you, I never ever wanted to marry you. I loved someone I met on Facebook. And you know what? I really wanted to marry them. But my dad said, no. So I'm stuck with you. This is why we say, my brothers, my sisters, understand the nature of the social media. It can make you or break you. 